wanted to discuss with you how have OKC fans embraced Al and you, both of you, maybe compared to your last stop in Philly? <laughs> this is what everyone wants to hear about. They just want the juice. That's it. Um, and I'm I'm here to give it to you. It's fine. Um, so OKC has been so amazing, so welcoming. There's got to be something in the water in Oklahoma <laughs> because people are so friendly. And I don't know if it's just in like stark contrast to Philly, <laughs> um, but everyone has been so nice, so excited to have Al and our family, um, like no negativity. They've like really embraced us. And so we've like embraced them. And like, I, I'm like, I, I've been getting a lot of Sixers fans who are like feeling like super like salty, like, well, why do you, you know, why do you like OKC if, you know, I barely been there and um, you didn't like us and, you know, he was here for a whole season and blah, blah, blah. Well, at the same time, like, OKC people aren't telling me to go kill myself or calling me like derogatory terms. So that's why I like Oklahoma better. Um, <laughs> Philly, a very you know, low bar, but I'm glad that we cleared that for you. <laughs> <laughs> it is, I mean, it was a low bar, but like you guys have just exceeded expectations. Um, everyone's been super cool. And like Philly, they're just, even their own fans will admit they are just so negative and they probably wouldn't use the word toxic, but I'm going to use the word toxic. Mm -hmm. Um, and just so horrible to their own players. Like even now still like people, I still see people like talking trash about Ben and stuff. And like, I'm just sitting over here feeling so bad. And so, yeah, it's been a complete, completely different experience. Well, that's great to hear. And we,